DC United defender Steve Birnbaum in Orlando City defender Amro Tarek battle for the ball in the air during the second half at Maureen Hendricks Field Maryland Soccerplex. Tommy Gilligan USA Today Sports Orlando City advanced to the quarterfinals of the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup after winning a penalty kick shootout 4-2 over DC United after the match was tied 1-1 after extra time. Here are three takeaways from that match, getting past DC United was nice but there's work to do if advancing in the US. Open Cup was enough for Orlando City's front office, Jason Kreese would still have his job. Wednesday's win was Orlando City's first over an MLS club since May 6 and the Ailing Lions certainly needed something to feel good about after the firing of Kreese, but interim coach Bobby Murphy knows there's a huge challenge coming to Orlando City Stadium on Saturday. The Lions get a rematch against the Montreal Impact. Orlando City lost 3-0 to the Impact in Montreal during what would be Cree's final match as coach. I can't be more proud and more happy for them, Murphy said about Wednesday's win. There were times in the game where our backs were against the wall a little bit and they stuck in there and they held firm and maybe were unlucky to not win it in extra time when we're up a man. created a few chances. For them, for all of the staff that's around me, it's just a real chance for everybody to take a moment and be proud, take a deep breath and move on. Still, the Lions are focused on winning Saturday. The message tomorrow will be tonight doesn't mean anything if we don't come out and do it again on Saturday, Murphy said. The best part about losing a game is you get to play again and the best part about winning a game is you get to play again. We just have to be ready to go Saturday night. He's right. Advancing in the Open Cup is one thing, but the Lions need to stop its skid in league play at six games. Murphy willing to take chances shifting to a 3-4-3 formation a couple of days before a U.S. Open Cup match and following the firing of a coach is definitely a risk. When speaking to members of the media, Murphy said he was willing to switch things up because the same old, same old sometimes becomes routine. We've tried to take a really objective about what's been hurting us and it's been the leaking of the goals, Murphy said. Do we best try to stem that tide? I have three international center backs who are fit and we were going to try to play them together and free up the likes of Mohamed, El Munir, and RJ, Allen, to get forward and provide us some more width without exposing us a little bit. I think for a first outing with it, after having only trained, you know, really, once, they did really well. The result was mixed. In the second half and in extra time, Orlando City generated chances, but in the 10th minute, RJ Allen got torched by Darren Maddox, which led to City conceding the first goal again. For the most part, though, the formation did exactly what Murphy wanted. El Munir and Allen weren't particularly effective, but they did get involved in the attack. Most of the successful passes from the two were backwards, however. Allen had a solid cross for Chris Mueller and he barely put a shot wide, but for the most part, it was an up-and-down night from the wingbacks. I think flexibility is always good, Murphy said. I believe in different horses for different courses and we'll see. We'll talk to the players and get feedback and part of it is what they're comfortable with and then me working with them in that and not trying to fit square pegs into round holes. When it comes to that stuff, the decision is ultimately mine, for right now, anyway, and it's going to be something they're comfortable with and feel good in. Fatigue could set in Wednesday's game was the fifth road match in a row for Orlando City, its longest road trip in club history. At some point, fatigue starts to set in. Since June 2nd, Orlando City has played games in New York, Hialeah, Vancouver, Montreal and Boyds. That's a lot of miles. Murphy said players like midfielder Uri Rosal and star striker Dom Dwyer were left in Orlando as a precaution and added, all is well, regarding those two. It's likely he'll be ready to go for Saturday's match against Montreal. We accounted for, fatigue, a little bit, Murphy said. We left some guys at home to train and to be ready to go, no they would probably feature on Saturday. It is what it is. The Cup's an important competition. Getting ourselves right is important.
I wouldn't change the lineup. I wouldn't change the team I brought. It just is what it is. We move on. Comments comments Bobby Muprid, C. United featured Oxford Londo City Orlando City SC.